horrifying, absolutely horrifying. Inside this Anderson home is where a mother lived with her three daughters. On Sunday afternoon, they were all home when their 33-year-old mother was shot and killed. I live right around the corner. I just had got out of church and I heard the shots. Just before 1 o'clock, police were called out to the home on Walton Street. They found Shermise Boyd near the front door. She was shot several times. Sad. It's very sad. According to court documents, this man, 29-year-old Demica Beard, went to the home looking for his nephew. When he asked Boyd about it, she smiled and said she didn't know where he was. Beard told detectives that her smiling made him upset. Therefore, he pulled out his pistol and shot the lady. I mean, I've been doing this job for a really long time. I've not really seen anything like that. I mean, there are random killings and for no reason, for the sport of it, for the fun of it, that happens. But but because you don't like the way someone looked at you? I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. Investigators aren't calling this a domestic situation, but say Boyd and Beard did know one another. Boyd's three kids were nearby when the shooting happened. When the 11-year-old the saw him pull out the gun, she grabbed a three-year-old, ran out of the back of the house, heard the gunshots. Witnesses on scene gave police a description of Beard, and it didn't take long for officers to track him down. They found him just a few blocks away here on Nickel Avenue. All this crime is, is, is um, it, it just hurts, and I just wish it would stop. Jaquella Jones is one of Boyd's neighbors. The deadly gun violence isn't a headline. To Jones, it's heartbreak close to home. And it just hurts me because I've had dealt with two homicides in my family, so uh, I took this personal. Now three little girls are left to grow up without their mother. Boyd's family didn't want to talk on camera, but told us she was loved and had a heart of gold. In Anderson, Lindsay Eaton, CBS 4 News. Lindsay, thank you. Beard is facing several charges now, including homicide and criminal recklessness with a deadly weapon. If you have any information about this incident, call the Anderson Police Department. I